when you look at Toronto and you look at their backcourt in Portland, uh, it, it just makes you come up with this discussion. And, and these are uh, how we took these numbers. They're raw numbers and they're taken overall, so don't be stunned if, if it doesn't come out the way you think. But when you guys look at the best backcourts in the league this year, what, what stands out to you? Who stands out to you and why, Isaiah? Well, you know, Harden and Gordon at, at the top of the list stands out. And, and the reason why they stand out is because, you know, clearly they're, they're so productive. What also stands out is what's on the bottom of the list in terms of Chris Paul yeah. uh, hasn't been added to that. Now, can, can Chris Paul increase his productivity and be as efficient as Gordon on the offensive side with Harden? I mean, because I mean, right now you you got something that's really working in terms of Harden and Gordon, and and Harden is you know getting ready to have one of those fantastic seasons, you know, matching only a guy that you play with, you know, Tiny Archibald. Now, when you insert Chris Paul and you say Chris Paul Harden as a backcourt, is that better than Harden and Gordon in the backcourt? Yeah. So I, I mean, it, it you know a lot of things have to play out, but the good thing that's happening is. They're winning while they're figuring it out. Right. But I just don't know where Paul is. Paul really going to be as effective and efficient and as good as he possibly can be alongside Harden. It sounds like he's rooting for the three guard play like him, Joe, and the microwave. I ain't going to say nothing on that, you know, yeah. Kevin. Well, we should have a graph with the three guards. Up there. <laughs> exactly. yeah. the three. I, I was just going to say, if they had There's three guards, Houston by far right. is yes, going right. to lead that. Yeah. I look at that list and I see who's playing the best. Harden and Kyrie Irving, I think, of all those players, are playing the best basketball of, of any of those. Now, they're all good groups, but Kyrie and James are playing at a different level right now. Yeah. Harden's patience and the ability to go where he wants with the ball, and then just Irving's overall just confidence. I mean, you know, he, everybody knows he can, he can go wherever he wants, but his ability just to take over games is amazing. So those two guys are playing the best. Brown and, uh, and Irving in Boston, and then Harden, Gordon, and, and with Chris Paul in in, uh, in Houston. So I see. I always look at individually who's playing great because at the end of the day, this is a team game. But your top players have got to make yeah. big plays yeah. at the end of games if you want to win. You know, I, I said this before the season started when they was asking us about predictions, and you know, he predicted that you know Kyrie would be the MVP. Yeah. And I predicted that Jalen Brown would be an All Star this year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you got Paul George who's gone. You got Carmelo Anthony, who's out of the out of the East right now, and the young fellas that are stepping up. You know, Jalen Brown's doing a great job in Boston. Yeah, and, and when I look at that list, guys, I think about Harden over the last three years. You said it's equal consistency. Maybe no player has had a three-year run like he has and not won an MVP. Yeah. And so when I see what he has done, Kyrie has done, and not to negate that second player because Gordon is really coming with it, but like you say, if you got a consistent one in that top one, uh, it's, it's just fun to watch. And this wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. LeBron? Mm. Oh, yeah, my fault. Chris. Wait, 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 we talk about positions now? Yeah, yeah. Le LeBron. LeBron right, and anybody LeBron, else. Yeah. LeBron said you better put his name okay. in the MVP yeah. mid conversation. Right, right. So, so I can do All this. Right, I just told him, dog. All right. All right. So, LeBron and Shumpert, put them up there. Because yeah. whoever LeBron is going to be the second, you know, second but, best player. You know, Chris, one real quick thing. Uh -huh. you know, now, Wall and Beal, the, the, Washington hasn't found themselves yet, and they're going to find themselves when those two start dominating every single but night Kevin, together. But, Kevin, they had to. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Wall fan, and last year Wall showed me that with the year Kyrie having this year. But he is, if not the best, second best point guard in this Eastern Conference and up there. And I love his game. He can, he's a one-man play with his speed. But Washington has never seen for real. They, did, they gave up on plays last night. It looks like, you know, they've had excuses of coaches. It's not a leader in locker room. And, of course, I don't know. I'm just saying what it seems like to me, the fan right now that played, that just when you're a main guy, when one player goes out, you lose by 46? One player? Like, I, I just don't know what to feel about this team because I root for them, and then it, it's almost like they, they let you down. What, That's what, what I said. It? Those two guys have got to come together and, and, and get that team to follow them to greatness because your top players, they set the stage for everything on your team. And those two guys have got, have got to set the bar higher. They've got to do something different there. That's what I was saying. They, they put up numbers, but they have got to get that team playing at a much higher level. I agree. Earlier, you know, Greg and uh, Steve were talking about it. I'm not sure they're, they're going to get home court in the playoffs yeah. if they yeah. make the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, they make it's it. tough, and yeah. which is crazy. But those two guys have got to make everybody play better. Every 
everybody play harder. And I agree, Chris. They had guys quitting on plays, which is really weird to watch a team yeah. where guys are quitting on yeah. plays in yeah. the middle, middle of the second quarter. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, those guys cannot have that. They're both too good for that.